Well, earlier this week, I went and hung out with some friends, had some burgers and a beer and, and whatnot at, at the one guy's parents' house. And we were joking about, like, picking somebody up at the bar. And, you know, she said, well, why don't we go back to your place? Okay. You know, walk her out, put her in the van, start it up, drive around the corner, park, and be like, well, here we are. Crawl on back. Let's go. This part is still Wednesday, and I want to explain to you so you understand, because you'll see me in this tomorrow. That's just generally my flow right now. I, like, I just showered, and I changed, and then this is what I will wear tomorrow. Of course, to save on the tension, I will skip the shower tomorrow, but I will change tomorrow night before I leave to go sleep. I think sometimes, you know, we take things for granted. We take some of the, the simplest stuff for granted. Say, for instance, a shower. You, you, you generally take one every day. You know what I mean? Every day and a half. Like, maybe you shower this morning, you skip one tomorrow morning, but tomorrow evening you take one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying, Zion? I think if, in order to learn to really appreciate those, those everyday simple things that we take for granted, do without. Like, trust me, you really want to appreciate a shower? Skip one for three days. I promise you. It will be the best goddamn shower you have ever had in your life. <sighs> Especially if you spend like those three days in the heat, sweating your whatever off. Because ladies, I can't say sweating your balls off. Well, I, also, I don't know, some ladies, you have to wonder. Ooh, wait, 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 that's the kind of stuff that got me thrown off the radio. Wait, 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 no, no. Yeah, no, no, seriously, I've... Some ladies, you gotta wonder. I... Oh, hold on. Hold on, wait. Don't go. Wait, don't go. Come here, you son of a gun. Oh my god, and everything's a mess. I so need to get this thing cleaned up. Come on. Saved in the nick of time. Can I get some applause, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where are my notes? Where are my notes? Where are my notes? But now next week when I go, excuse me for a moment, I've got my stink bug problem and I've pretty much told them I'm done. Like, I, I see them, I kill them. Sorry, forgive me. I have come to the reasonable conclusion that there is no peaceful cohabitation with these little fuckers. Did I tell you I got booked a gig in August? And the irony of it is fantastic. Well, I shouldn't say the irony. The coincidence of it is fantastic. The synchronicity of it is fantastic. So this guy comes to my booth before the flea market even starts this morning and he comes through and I was like, did anyone ever tell you that you should play Santa Claus? He's like, as a matter of fact, I do. Fantastic. And we talked for him and I was like, yeah, I used to do kids parties. He's like, what do you do? I was like, man, you know, he's like, who, what character? Clown? I was like, well, whatever they wanted. So he came back and forth a couple of times and we talked and he had said maybe in the future he'd have some work, but he comes back to me and he says, well, what about August 21st? You want to do balloons? Because I do balloons. I had mentioned that. I was like, balloon hats, balloon animals. He's like, you stroll around, you do some balloons. What's interesting about this, not only will I get paid for it, but I'm already going where it is he needs me to be because I was going to video him. He's at Alberta's Park, part of the Hobo Variety Show. 
which I had on my list of things, special events, performers that I wanted to video for Alberta's Park to make part of their bigger promo video. I'm curious to see how the money thing goes over the next two days, because as far as I know, it would be nice if I made like 20 bucks somehow in the next two days. Wow, and I just read someone's quote, only half of it, have no fear for giving in, have no fear for giving over. In case you haven't guessed, I just stopped in here from the pub. The pub is the hub. I wish this were a cigar right this second. And yes, yes, Mary worked. I always said Mary was my first and truest love. Of course, I was talking about a different Mary. But it works. I have so much to say about tonight. I, I mean, I was king of the world tonight, let me tell you. I was talking to everybody and I was having a good time. I had a good rapport with everybody, and I'm not patting myself on the back, but at the same time, I, I, I'm kind of proud of myself because it kind of felt good. It kind of felt like I was back in action. Like, yeah, there is the Rev. In fact, I actually told somebody that today. Well, yesterday. Now, it's kind of hard. I'm in that in-between place because I haven't gone to sleep yet. But it is the next day, according to, like, the clock and the calendar and shit. However, let me tell you something. I learned this working late night at a diner. The day truly does not switch over until about 3 a.m. It's true. It's true. Because it isn't until about 3 a.m. you see the difference in people. Up until about 3 a.m., the customers that are coming in are still finishing the day before. They've been out to the bar. They've been doing whatever they're doing. They're finishing their day. And it's at about 3 a.m. that you start getting the customers who are beginning their day. The day truly does not switch over until about 3 a.m. We can pretend it does. It doesn't, really. I promise. I, I'm, I'm telling you. I swear it. So what do you go by? Matt, Matthew, I was like, eh, some people call me Matt, some people call me Matthew. I was like, some people call me a whole hell of a lot worse. But my closest friends call me the Rev. Nobody actually calls me that. But you should start. I wish I got drunk at the bar. I do. I, like, I realize I'm sure you're, you're watching me and you can realize that I, I've had a couple of drinks and I'm mildly intoxicated but mildly is really where it stops but I wish every once in a while I would actually walk out of the bar feeling like I, I was drunk I realize you're all thinking how dangerous that is but two beers and a shot And I don't feel much different than I did when I left, except I, I'm a little more relaxed and a little more infatuated with Mary. Oh, sweet Mary. Holy Mary, mother of my next child. Um, I sat down. Of course, Mary came right over. Yingling? You know it, sweetie. Actually, I didn't say sweetie. And I probably wouldn't have. I probably would have said toots or babe. And uh, I don't know. The night went on. Daddy's and I eventually decided it was time to do the flaming yingling. But we had to go outside because we can't smoke in the pub anymore. So we went outside. And I don't know. I just kind of rattled off to him some stuff. Like I was talking about how... I get all this crap from my family. I didn't get into details. I was just like, you know, I get this crap. But man, I had such a good day and it ended so well. It was, it was, it, it was a good day. Of course, I spent about as much at the bar as I made today. 